So if you've been having issues with your games, they just don't load properly or crash during gameplay, or you've never done the issue to your graphics card, today I'll be showing you how to install or reinstall your drivers for your AMD graphics card. I only have an RX 580, so I will, if I get an NVIDIA card for whatever reason in the future, I'll do a tutorial for that. But this is for anybody with an AMD graphics card or APU. So if you have like a 2200G, 3200G, this will also apply to you as well if you're using that graphics solution. So before we do anything, if you already have drivers installed and you want to fix like some issues with your games and stuff like that, you want to make sure to do a clean install. And this is you know very crucial as if you just install over or do an update, usually that just causes issues, it doesn't work too well. So what you want to do first, now this is if you already have drivers, you can skip this part if you just want to install drivers, I'll put a timestamp. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and type in AMD cleanup utility. You just click on the first link right here. Make sure you don't click on an advertisement. You can scroll down and you can click this blue link right here. Just click on that and it'll go ahead and download the tool. When you run it, you might have to grant admin rights. So click yes. And it'll ask you if you want to go into safe mode. This isn't necessary. You can if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and click no for the purposes of this video. And it'll say this process will remove AMD drivers and applications such as graphics drivers, audio drivers, etc. So yeah, this will uninstall any previous drivers. So you'll have like a clean slate to work with. When you go to reinstall uh, or install your driver, you go ahead and click OK, and it'll give this screen. And after a while, it should say that it's all complete. So once you do that, you just want to go ahead and restart your computer. We can proceed to get the new driver installed. OK, so my PC just booted it back up, and you can see that the resolution is kind of small, which means that the driver on installation went successful. And at this point, we can go back to AMD's website and actually get the drivers. So what you want to do first is type in AMD drivers or something along those lines, it doesn't really matter. And you can click on this link right here. So I have a graphics card, I have an RX 580, I have a, so it's a dedicated graphics card, so I would choose graphics. But if you have, I don't know, let's say a Ryzen 3 2200G like this box right here. If I had like an APU, I would do processors with graphics, AMD Ryzen processors, AMD Ryzen 3... AMD Ryzen 3 desktop processors, and I have to scroll over because of the resolution. You can see AMD Ryzen 3 2200G. So yeah, I would just go through all that, but since I have a dedicated graphics card, let's say you have an RX 580 like I do, I would do Radeon 500 series because it's a part of the RX 500 series. I would do Radeon RX 580 RX 500, they have a lot of others, but make sure you do RX 500, not 500 or 500X, kind of confusing. But you can see here that I can just choose Radeon RX 580, and that's my graphics card. Just want to go ahead and click Submit. Okay, so I clicked on Windows 1064 bit because that's the OS I'm on. And you'll see a few options here. This is optional, and it's basically like a beta driver, and I don't really recommend that as it's just, you know, more of a hassle. If something doesn't work, you have to uninstall it, and yeah. This is the recommended though, this is the most stable uh, recent version, and this is what I would recommend, it says recommended even right here. So you can just click on download, and it'll go ahead and start downloading the driver. Okay, and as you can see, the driver has finished downloading after quite some time. So what you want to do is just go ahead and click on it to open it up, and just give it a second. You may need to grant admin rights, go ahead and click yes. And it'll say that it's going to extract it. You just go ahead and click on install and it'll go ahead and extract all the necessary installer files to the designated location. And after a while, you should see this little pop-up with the actual installer. And it'll show what you're about to install, Microsoft certified, blah, blah, blah. And you can go ahead and click install. And while you're at this point, it'll like, you might get some like notifications and stuff. The screen will flicker a little bit like now. This is entirely regular, uh, this is supposed to happen. And it'll say that it's all good. You can just click on restart. And that should basically be the end of installing the drivers. So as you can see, I'm back inside of Windows 10. And I went ahead and opened up the uh, AMD Radeon software. This is where you can basically tune stuff like uh, display resolution. You know, there's a lot of other features like Radeon Relive. You know, you'll see this little like setup screen. You can go ahead and skip this. It's not entirely necessary. Might not even have to come in here. But uh, yeah, that's how you can install AMD drivers onto your PC. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to get back to you. 
If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, but if not, you know where to go. While you're there, you should subscribe to the channel and leave notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.